what's going on people jada black here back with a, another video shout out to everybody that's tuning in and always supporting i appreciate it this video is going to be about keisha cole getting pregnant for the second time to a 22 year old musician um i think his see his name his name is nico calais <laughs> yeah it's nico calais you know and according to this article I'm reading from Hot New Hip Hop, she announced the pregnancy via Twitter. Okay, said it was some hashtags. It was Prego, if my Fashion Nova fit, congratulations are in order at Fashion Nova. That's what she wrote. It was almost like a copy and paste, you know, um, like a copy and paste post that Fashion Nova sent her. And people are actually wondering, is she promoting a fashion or is she promoting her child? But I want y'all to understand, man, what people just don't value their children anymore. I'm not saying that she doesn't value it, but if you're going to make an announcement, you know, you don't have to put a product placement inside that particular announcement. But that's just how times are, I guess, when you have social media. Now. I want y'all to understand, you know, Keisha has been through a lot as far as relationships. I mean, I believe she's an extremely lonely woman. She's 36 years old, which is kind of weird because, you know, I've always known Keisha Cole to be, you know, a young, youthful, energetic female. Um, but if you actually look back on it, she's been mainstream, I believe, since 2005. And she's been doing the reality show thing, the music thing. So she's been in the, the, the public eye for a while, you know, and she's very lonely. I mean, she's she well on the reality show Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. She still was having her ex who they had already broken up. She's already dating other dudes. They're actually living together. Her and Booby Gibson were actually living together. I don't think that's the same now, but when that show was on, and it was very fairly recent, I think as of what last year, they were living together because he didn't have his own financial situation together. Even though he was in the NBA, the guy didn't do anything else. He wanted to do music. All these guys want to do music. They don't want to do what Nas is doing as far as being an investor. You know, being a businessman outside of music or sports or whatnot. And he's living with her. And then you look at the fact that she was in a relationship with Birdman. And that fell apart because she attacked a woman that he was allegedly cheating with. Then she was with Bow Wow for about <laughs> for about, <laughs> about a couple of hours. And then they broke up. And allegedly she keyed his car. Because I think Bow Wow probably just wanted to smash and dash. He wasn't really interested in a relationship with her. Maybe he thinks she's crazy. But be that as it may, this type of chick always looking for a relationship to be in. Can't be single. You know, even though she has a child, she's still raising. Got to be in a relationship. You would think that because she has a career, she would focus on that. But no, she has to be in a relationship. And what does she do? I don't even think she's been in a relationship with this 22-year-old very long. And she's already pregnant by this guy. And I, and I, I did... Uh, a stream about this about uh and, and i believe i produce i may have produced another video on it about uh black china wanting to uh, date younger and younger men because she feels like she can control them and manipulate them it's the same i'm seeing a trend with a lot of these black women in entertainment you know her amber rose dating younger men i got keisha cole dating younger men you're gonna see more of these women do that it wasn't surprise that Nicki minaj starts dating younger men because they realize that younger men they feel like they can easily mold and, and easily control that situation and because a lot of these other men in the entertainment industry who are their age ain't trying to date them they're not trying to be in no relationship with them so now you have these females looking to date younger men. And in Keisha Cole's situation, um, she can't stay in a relationship very long. And maybe she believes that by having a kid with this kid, that well, he's a grown man, but I mean still, you know, look at the age difference. Anyway, 14, I think it's a 14 year age difference. So when she was 14, he was just born. 
you know. Uh, looking at the situation, man, it's it, she's trying to keep him. She she wants to keep this guy. And I think a, a telltale sign of a female trying to hold on to a guy is if a female dates a whole bunch of different types of dudes, right? She dates all these different types of dudes, but it's that one guy she ends up getting pregnant by, and she hadn't even been in a relationship with that, him that long. And you're looking to say, well, why are you getting into a relationship with a guy who you're gonna have to financially? help because i don't think this guy this nico calais cow guy i don't think he can financially support himself i don't think that he's making money like that because he's only listed as a musician they don't say rapper singer lets you know that a musician is just a title that he's given himself and at least with black china situation the dudes the young dudes she's getting with got money or they have earning potential they have careers they have a base of fans it just seems to me like keisha cole is just trying to find happiness you know looking at her past and looking at the the type of family this a life that she came from you know she never had peace you know she never had a loving home like that well with her, with her step parents but if you look at her biological mother and that, and that particular family it was very dysfunctional and she tried to have that family structure with booby gibson and it didn't work out and I think in her mind, she still wants that. Now, maybe this 22-year-old guy is just very mature for his age. But it also shows y'all that a lot of these women, no matter what their age are, their maturity level just isn't where it should be. Just because you have a 36-year-old woman who's been, you know, uh, in the spotlight for a long time, you know, who's basically been the breadwinner for her family does not mean that she has maturity. You know, I, I just don't think her maturity level is there. Like, I really don't. And you're seeing in the type of men that you're dating. Now it's different with a guy who may date a younger woman because if a guy is dating a younger woman, he probably is going to marry her and he's probably going to take care of her. But when you have an older woman getting with a younger guy, nine times out of ten she's going to have to financially support him. And you have this this chick; she's getting pregnant by this guy, and I believe she's getting pregnant because she wants to hold on to him because i believe she's very lonely this is why she had booby gibson living with her last year now you could say it was for this it was because of the script for the show you know it was a way to get both of the men on the show but both of them ain't together like that i mean she's dating other men so basically they're just roommates now if he now if you got booby gibson who's dating other women and he's living with her she's not gonna like that of course because women are hypocritical they can do things but they don't expect men to do the same thing you know they they want to be able to move on from a man but they don't expect men to move on like they expect their exes to be miserable and to chase them and beg them to come back but when their exes move on they're hurt and they'll try to do everything they can to mess their relationship up fighting the new chick you know, if they have children by the guys, she'll be threatening them with child support or threatening them not to let them see his kids. That's the type of game lonely women play. And that's why we as men, we got to be careful the type of women that we impregnate. Because we, not, <clears throat> we never know how crazy they are, you know. And if you're going to get pregnant by a woman, you better make sure that she had a two-parent home. That she has a mother and father you know, was it that's still in her life that could that could be there for her you know that that could be that example for her. if you, you get with a female who had a dysfunctional upbringing look at her past relationships i mean she did try to make the family thing work with booby gibson but again you chose an nba player okay who has access to a lot of women while he's on the road who's also trying to be a rapper that's a telltale sign of a guy who ain't trying to be monogamous you know Maybe people in the entertainment industry have unrealistic expectations. Maybe, maybe a lot of these people in the entertainment industry, in their relationships, they should be they should be um, in an open relationship because monogamy doesn't work. Because it ain't just the men who are going to be out here cheating. You're going to have women out here cheating too, you know. But of course, they're going to make it seem like only men cheat because that fits a narrative, you know. I just believe that when you have women like Keisha Cole, right? They don't have a solid relationship. They do have a child. They have this 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 yearning, this hunger to have another one. 
I truly believe that women who have multiple children, I think, want to have multiple children. Because you mean to tell me that you carried a child for nine months and then went through the uh, the birth process, and you mean to tell me that you want to do that all over again? <laughs> you would do everything in your power if you don't want to have to deal with that again. You do everything in your power to make sure that you're either on some type of birth control or the guy that you're with is wearing a condom. But they don't do that because I think some of these chicks want to have more multiple children. It ends up happening multiple, multi, a lot of those kids about different men that they're not even interested in really being with. You know, because there are women who like the title of baby mama. They do. They think it gives us some type of status in the community. That's how far we have fallen. As a people Is when the women think that being a baby mama means something Not being a wife Not being a girlfriend but Being a baby mama Because I think a lot of women Because of their backgrounds Because of the, the things they went through When they were younger um, They just don't have the capacity For a relationship or a marriage Like they really don't And I think that's what we're seeing And I think that Women need to be real with themselves and say you know what I don't want to be in a relationship I don't want to be married But they can't tell themselves that Because Women want to be able to Have that one guy Above all the others That they're with you know And in their minds They think well if I want marriage That's how I'm going to get that guy Because women are selfish They don't want to share men you know And they feel like marriage is the only way to keep that man From being shared by other women but Come on, man. If the guy got with you, he could get with any other woman that he, that, you know, that, that like him. I just feel like, um, I hope she, um, can make this work because Keisha seems like a female who may be a bit unhappy, a bit lonely. And I think that she needs to make this work. She don't need to have two babies' fathers. You know, she needs to have at least one of those guys who she can be in a solid relationship with. But we'll see, you know. Y'all let me know this thing in the comment section below and uh, let me know your thoughts.